Okay, Scout Crafters, Birdhouse Challenge, due in um, mm -hmm, T minus less than 24 hours. What else is new? Anyways, all kinds of ideas. Here's what I decided to do. That birdhouse you're looking at right there, I built 50 years ago. And um, it's just uh, scrap material left over from when uh, when Dad built a house. The, uh, the roof there is, um, you can see that's uh, clapboard siding. It's redwood clapboard siding. I used to have a few pieces left. I cannot find them. But anyway, um, we built about a half a dozen of them and uh, painted them different colors. There was green ones, there was a red one, a blue one, uh, a sage green one, uh, yellow if I didn't mention yellow. Um, the only thing is it's made out of, the house itself is made out of 3 8 material. I don't have any 3 8 material, so I'm not sure how we'll go about that, but I do have something in mind. Um, basically it's built for a wren. Uh, we kind of discourage wrens around here because we like the bluebirds, but it's what we're going to do. Okay, so let's begin. Let's gather up our uh, raw materials. What flavor do we want? Got some white birch, cherry, cherry, mm, some ash, Ooh, big ash. Got some plum. Ooh, there's an idea for a nice hollow log. That would make a nice birdhouse. All the work's already done for you. Done by Mother Nature. Let's see. Eh. Decisions, decisions. Hmm. Kind of liking you. Ooh. Bird's a little happy about it, too. Ooh. You're a nice one. Nice big hunks of walnut. That'd be nice. A little more cherry. A little more plum. Ooh, real nice plum. All right. Let's see what we find. Look at that one. That's all ready to go. All I got to do is drill a hole in it. And the lucky one is... Choose you. Look at how nice that one is. Yeah, baby.
out nice. Log to lumber. All right. Be enough. You thought the chainsaw was loud. Do that a few more times, get her down to about three eighths of an inch. That's amazing. That was a piece of firewood just a couple minutes ago. It's beautiful. Nice. I hear you. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Don't be rushing me. Patient little bird. Patient. Same jar of nails. 50 years old. And then some.
it's like painting, but different. It's almost done, it's almost done. <laughs> Okay, so I think that came out pretty good. We're open for business here. Come on, little guys. So anyway, the bottom's coming off with a couple screws there, so you can clean them out pretty easy. We got ventilation, 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 ventilation. Like I say, it's kind of set up for a wren. Take a screw out. You can probably just loosen this one and just pivot it around, clean this, the old nest out, button it back up. Even probably have some brass eye hooks um, that I can uh, I can add to those. Anyways, that's it. Right. Ain't we impatient? I told you, I'm working on it. I'm working okay. on it. You know what this project looked like before we started, right? Yeah, hunk of wood, piece of firewood. And you'll know what it looks like now. But check out my illustrious birdhouses. Scout Crafters, Birdhouse Challenge for 2020. Illustrious, I say. Scintillating. Is that a word? Scintillating. It can be like a Tweety Bird discotheque. Oh, look at that. Sapwood doesn't glow. Only the heartwood. And my 50 year old birdhouse. Nothing. Oh, and be sure to stop back and check out my wood turning. My illustrious. Lava lamps, coming soon. Thanks for watching.